In order for a new law to be made in the U.S., it first starts in Congress. After a bill passes with a majority of votes in the House and the Senate, the bill then gets sent to the President's desk. In order for the bill to become a law, the President has to sign it. If the President chooses not to sign it, he'll send it back to Congress with objections. This is called a direct veto. By this point, Congress can make the bill into a law without the President's approval if both the House and the Senate vote on the bill again with a two-thirds majority vote in favor of the bill. If the House and the the Senate fails to vote two-thirds in favor of the bill, the bill does not become a law and Congress has to start over. If the President does not sign the bill or send it back to Congress, it becomes law as if it was signed by the President. Another type of veto is called a pocket veto. A pocket veto is when the President does not sign or veto a bill when Congress is adjourned. If this happens, the bill does not become a law. The veto power is a clear representation of checks and balances in the US. If you would like to learn more, check out my video on checks and balances. Political Minute, out.